Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to share a little MATLAB software development kit that I've put together. I call this the MATLAB LUM repository and this is nothing more than a collection of functions and tools that I've written and wanted to share in the hopes that it helps accelerate your application development. As this diagram tries to illustrate, the idea is that you can obtain a copy of my repository and then reference or leverage this code in your own MATLAB applications. So this lets you separate general code from application specific code and therefore increase the modularity and reusability of your systems. Now, to obtain the MATLAB LUM repository, it's a really pretty, pretty simple process. All you need to do is first go ahead and download slash clone the repository from my GitHub page. And here's the URL, and I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video for easy navigation. Once you actually have the code on your computer, what you're going to next need to be able to do is then add the appropriate directories and paths to the MATLAB path by either using one of two methods, and I'll talk about both of them. First is I provided a function called add paths MATLAB LUM, which will go ahead and automatically and programmatically add all of the paths needed to leverage the SDK. Or you could also create a custom MATLAB shortcut that will start up MATLAB and automatically add the paths um, at startup. So again, I've made a dedicated video on this second approach over here. You can reach this video by clicking on the upper right if you want more details on this, but I will show how to do both of these techniques um, and they're pretty easy. Once you've done this, steps one and two, you basically have the repository and all the code on your machine and the pathing set up. So the third step is just go ahead and start using some of the functionality within this repository in your uh, systems. So if that sounds like fun, let's go ahead and uh, walk through step one. All right, so to get the code, step one is just come to my GitHub page and come to my repository here named MATLAB LUM. And let's go ahead, click on this code button. And then here's the URL for cloning. This is what I want to capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy, get that on my clipboard. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and find a place on my machine where I want this code to live. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this sample folder that I've got. I'll open a git bash terminal to this location and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a git clone, paste in the URL, and that will clone down the code. And here it is, right? It just showed up right there. So here is all of the code. And inside this SDK folder, you'll see all of the different functions that I currently provide. Um, so let's go ahead now that we've got it and try to use one of these functions. So for example, I've got this function here called roulette wheel, which is used to simulate spinning a roulette wheel um, multiple times. Let's see if we can get this usable and leverageable in MATLAB. Okay, so I fired up a clean instance of MATLAB up here, and uh, as you can imagine right now, it has no idea what this roulette wheel function is, right? It doesn't, uh, it can't find it. So uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add that functionality and add those paths to the system. Okay, so to do that, let me go ahead and come back to our SDK, I'll come up a couple of levels. I just wanted to show you that at the top level, what I provide here is a function called add paths MATLAB LUM. And what this will do is if you programmatically call this function, it will go ahead and add all the pathing of all of these tools um, to your MATLAB path so it's accessible by your program. So let's go ahead and illustrate that now. Let's go ahead and I'll just start a very simple demo script and I'm gonna say demonstrate using functionality in the MATLAB LUM repo, right? So let's go ahead and just do a really simple script right now. Let me go ahead and save this. Um, I'm gonna put this in the same location where I was doing all of my other work or at least somewhere very similar. I think I had it over here. Yeah, let's put it right here. There we go. Let me go and just call this thing test leverage MATLAB LUM, okay? So again, as we saw earlier, it is not going to be able to use anything. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to programmatically add paths needed for MATLAB LUM, right? So what we need to do is uh, we need to go ahead and change our directory to the appropriate location. So let me come up to, uh, whoops, sorry, the wrong folder. Uh, where did I have my folder? Uh, gee, I lost it. Uh, here it is. Okay. So, yeah, here's the function we're using. So I just need to CD into this folder and then call 
this function, right? So all I need to do is cd into the MATLAB LUM, right? And then call this function, uh, I keep forgetting, I should probably just copy this thing. Let me copy this like that, copy, and I'm gonna do that, right? And that should go ahead and add all the paths. So if I run this now, there it goes. I got a little notice that this is added to the MATLAB path. And in fact, if I go ahead and type path in the command window, right, and now scroll all the way to the top of this, we see that yes, it has added some of the pathing needed for uh, the, the MATLAB LUM repository. So at this point, I can go ahead and leverage slash use code uh, and functions from the MATLAB LUM repository, right? So just to illustrate that in fact, so you don't have to watch me typing in all of this, I think I've got this actually on another screen. Let me go ahead and uh, just copy some code that I can use so that it can leverage this roulette wheel function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simulate spinning a roulette wheel a thousand times. This roulette wheel is is has five sections. Uh, no, I say one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, no, it has five sections. And actually the sections are not the same size, right? Bin number one is three times bigger than bin number two, et cetera, et cetera. So now if I run and simulate this, now what we should be able to do is we're now using functionality in this repository successfully, right? And you can see it generates a histogram, it does all that stuff. So we are now successfully leveraging code and dependencies within this MATLAB LUM repository. So this is one way to go about it. You can definitely add this functionality programmatically at the top of all of your scripts or at the entry point of your applications. But this is a little bit cumbersome, right? Because you probably don't want this code sprinkled all over the place. That means you've got multiple places you need to maintain it. Um, so this is, this is a less than ideal solution. Let me show you a slightly better way to go about this. Um, okay, so another way you can do this is let's just go ahead and create a favorite um, so that we can add this quickly and easily. If I can find where they, they always keep moving this on me. Um, sorry, I think I need to, here, editor. Um, where in the world, <laughs> I always have a problem finding the favorites. Uh, is it in home? Oh yeah, here it is, sorry. Okay, it's on the home tab. What I wanna do is let's go ahead and add a new favorite, okay? And then all this is, is basically it's a macro that we can run at the click of a button. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and try to make it so that we can CD at startup into this location, okay? So here's where the repository is located, okay? So that's the first thing I'm gonna do in my favorite command is we are gonna CD into this folder, right? And then call this, right? So it's really simple. We are basically just shuffling the code that we had over here, right? We are gonna shuffle this out of the script and we're gonna put this in a command. So what I'm gonna do is let me, let me uh, click on these check marks so it shows up on the window up top. And when I go ahead and hit save, I get out, now get this command up here. And actually, I probably should have edited that a little bit better. Hold on a second, sorry. Let me, let me bring this back up. Let me call this thing, um, here, the label. I should have named this a little bit better. Let's call this thing Startup MATLAB LUM, okay? And let me save that there. Now we get this little button up top which says Startup MATLAB LUM. So let's go ahead and get everything back to normal. So let me go ahead and do a restore default path. Okay, so that's going to blow away all the pathing, and let me just prove this to you. So now I'm back to basically, yep, only MATLAB defined pathing. So right now I want to be able to delete this code because I don't want this everywhere, right? This is now going to, to, to fail, right? So if I run this code, it's not going to work because it doesn't know where this roulette wheel is, right? We haven't quote unquote installed the MATLAB LUM repository yet. But that's the whole point of this button up here. So what you need to do is every time you start up MATLAB, all you need to do is one click of a button up here. And if you click on this, this will go ahead and add these paths for the MATLAB LUM repository to your MATLAB path. So now those have now been added and now every script you're using will be able to leverage this. So now I can run this clean script here, right? Which notice does not have any programmatic adding of pathing. This will now function no problem, right? Great, so there you go. So that's another way you can go about this. 
again, this is better, but still it's not 100% ideal because when I started on MATLAB, I still needed to click on this button, right, in order to, uh, to get everything to work. Let me show you one last method to do this. Uh, let me go ahead and kill MATLAB completely, okay? And I will show you that there's this other func, uh, I, I include a startup.m here, and that is what we can use to customize a shortcut um, to help us get MATLAB started and initializing all of the pathing appropriately. So let me just show you how that works. Um, let me see if I can close some of these windows. Okay, let me minimize this, minimize this. Let me go ahead here. Okay, so what I've got is I've got a little shortcut here to start up MATLAB on my desktop. Okay, and if I look at these properties, right, this is normally if I just double click on this shortcut, it's just going to go ahead and start up MATLAB, right? Now, one thing that we talked about in the other video where we talked about custom MATLAB initialization, right, is that MATLAB has an idea of where it starts up. So I'm going to tell it to start up in this folder here, right? This is the repository of my MATLAB lump. So if I just go ahead and paste that in like here, what MATLAB is going to do, MATLAB is going to start up, then it's going to look in this folder for a file called startup.m and execute whatever's in there. And what I've done is I've got this set up so this will add the paths appropriately as well. So this is kind of the best approach I feel is just start MATLAB up using this custom shortcut. So now when I go ahead and double click on this icon, oh, I'm sorry, it's booting up on another screen. I'll pull it up in just a second. But what it's going to do is it's going to now automatically, aha, look at that. I didn't do anything, right? I didn't have to click on this 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 uh, favorite icon. I don't have to programmatically add code. All that happened is when I launch MATLAB via that custom icon, that custom uh, shortcut, it will add paths, as you can see, appropriately. And you're basically off to the races because now I can just use code over here without having to do any additional setup or messing around, right? So there we go. Here's our Here's our outputs. So with that being said, I think that's pretty much all we wanted to talk about today is basically how to get access to this, this repository that I provided um, that gives you uh, functionality that hopefully you can leverage. And in fact, I'm going to be using this in a lot of my other demonstrations in some of um, the engineering lectures that we've got. So if you would like to follow along with some of my code, you may need this repository. So please go ahead and do this so that you've got it. Um, I also maybe want to mention that I am providing this pretty much license free. In fact, the license is it's called the uh, the quote unquote unlicensed, right? So it's basically um, use it however you like. I want this to be able to be uh, helping people and leverageable in whatever application you like. So that's the plan of attack. Um, and with that being said, I think this is also probably a great spot to leave it. We're going to use this framework in, uh, like I said, a future other um, MATLAB code. So for example, the very next video, we're going to look at downloading a data set for AI and ML, and I'm going to use some of the functionality in my MATLAB LUM SDK to enable that workflow. So this is video is going to be a little bit of a prerequisite for some of our future discussions. So as long as you have the MATLAB LUM repository on your machine and you've got the pathing set up, you'll hopefully be ready to go for some of our future discussions. So with that being said, uh, like I said, I think I'll probably want to sign off now and I hope to catch you in a future discussion. Talk to you later. Bye.